Common Sense of a Duke's Daughter, Chapter 239 War, Didder's Point of View Eastern part of the territory of Almeria's Duke. Normally it is a vibrant port city, but now the air is heavy and depressing. Assault of the guards' posts and offices are a sight everywhere at the port. And the occupation of the port by armed groups occurred just after that. The city lost all life as people's fear keep rising. Didda. The injury rate of the first team exceeded 30%. Among them, were the ones that received instructions from the general, Iris' grandfather, on how to confront an armed group that attacks a port. What really surprised me was not the situation, but the identity of the enemies. The armed group was wearing the uniform of the Acacia Kingdom. What the princess most feared is spreading in front of me as reality. While looking for clues about the attack, there were some bad premonitions, but not a definite answer, however the reality was harsher than predicted. I do not really know what's going to happen. I murmur as I try hard to breath, cold sweating running inside. The enemy began to move when the sun rose, attacking the front of the city. With their numbers, we have a huge disadvantage. The eastern part of the territory has developed a long time ago, and there are many secret entries to the city, it's a very complicated battle. Because the main roads were destroyed, the number of enemies who can go forward at the same time to attack are limited. We deployed our troops by using the topography, and we kept on defending. However, although there is nothing wrong with only defense, the alarms kept coming. Didda. The injury rate of the first team exceeded 30%. Let team one rest soon, instead send those of the second team, change quickly, do not show a gap to the enemy. Although the tone is the same light tone as usual, but inside, his heart is occupied with anxiety and a feeling of frustration. Although seriously injured people are still only a few, but the injury rate increases as time passes. More than anything, everyone is deadly tired. There were many people who had never fought in a complicated battlefield as the present, and the tension caused the tiredness to be even bigger. How many days will we be able to keep this city safe if this continues this way? Once this line of defense is broken, they'll turn to attack the capital. But nothing will come out of this and we're losing. There are not enough facilities or buildings that could endure attacks from an army. Even so, deep inside I know that we must persevere, because if we lose this city, the princess heart will be hurt. I cannot forgive such a thing. Looking around while scratching my head. Just a little, I'd want to get out of the current predicament instead of falling into negative thinking. Suddenly, a group of men appear in my eyes. They were heading for the medical area carrying the injured in their backs. Hey, who are those guys? That's not our party. They're not wearing the security core clothing. Normally, dressed like that out of the city would be okay. But since the group runs on the battlefield, the feeling they give is entirely different. Ha, huh. a group of volunteers of those living in this area. What? Hey, you guys, instantly evacuate. As you can see, here is dangerous, this is the middle of a battlefield, get out of here. I cried, approaching them. The residents tremble at my cry and the body becomes stiff for a moment. But, they recovered quickly. Even though you say that here is dangerous, I guess we can't ignore the situation of our place. This is our city, if we can't fight, but let me at least let us do chores. The men screamed. For a moment I got a chunk of words stuck on my throat. Please do not stand in the battlefield, carry the injured person soon. That person needs urgent treatment, go over there. At such time, a woman ran from behind. 
She looks at the injured person carried by the men and instructs where to place him. Hey, this place is not suitable for a woman to be in. Although I was watching over that situation stupidly, I recovered myself and caught her hand at time. What? Are you asleep, sir? Why are you borrowing this miss hand? She glares at me and sent a kick flying to my stomach. I am learning medicine in the capital, my knowledge is absolutely useful, please don't think of me as some weak woman. I swallowed my words impressed by her feelings. However, when thinking that, the stopped enemies started to move to again, my laughter came up during this situation. In the meantime, she kept on giving instructions as if not seeing the enemies moving. That's right. Here there's neither men nor women just soldiers. I mutter. In my head all thoughts were regarding the princess left in the capital, and Tanya. That's right. I should have known. They are all struggling to find their way. It is stupid to judge by saying, because it is a man, or, because it is a woman. Their achievements and all the things they endured to reach the goals, their efforts, is what really matters. Yes, that's right. Even now, it seems that my wisdom hasn't left me. Actually, this place is where the princess first started to create the current duke's territory. Hey you, you, it was bad enough already to ignore my command, and now you're laughing, do you take your life as a joke? To my words, she smiled faintly for a moment. You look like a lady when you smile. That smile is very similar to the princess. Really, I want to be like Iris. She seems to have heard my muttering and her eyes became bright. Because when Iris came here before, he taught me about medicine and that's why I can help you here at the moment. I sincerely admire Iris who gave me a chance to grow and sincerely admire her as I admire those who stand above us, are good to us and work to improve the land, I like that person, I think that I would like to be active member in a society lead by that person. She said so with a soft smile. From her eyes and from the atmosphere, it seemed that her emotions were overflowing from her whole body. I am sorry, I spoke unnecessarily, I will excuse myself. At the next moment, once again she returned to her serious look and ran through the medical area. Seeing those eyes, I laughed in spite of myself. Really, they are very similar. And, oh. She snapped her own token with all her might. Let's change the first row of doctors frequently. And I'd like you to cooperate a bit. While giving instructions to the guards, she turned to the volunteer members and called out to them. What is that? I'd like some of you guys to make this kind of thing. She drew a simple and easy figure on the ground with a stick. We looked at what she wrote and gave a uniform response. I think we can do it, but... Is this okay? It's usable, and very convenient. Hey, you should procure a token to call others. You guys, pick up the tools. Collect stones from over there. Nothing further asked, they instantly began to move according to my instructions.